Hi you guys, it's me Chris and welcome back to the doll studio. Today I have such an exciting video for you guys. I have had this idea brewing in my head ever since I was working at the American Girl store in New York. For those of you guys who do not know, I used to work at the American Girl store hair salon in New York City and this is quite literally a video that has just been brewing in my head ever since I left and it is a reaction video to all the other American Girl doll hair salons, hairstyling videos for your American Girl doll and I quite literally just felt like I just needed to react to some of these hairstyling videos. I used to quite literally send these videos to my coworkers because a lot of salons do amazing things, but also a lot of salons do a lot of questionable things when it comes to styling their American Girl dolls hair. And I just wanted to give my opinion, give some critiques, and definitely let you guys know what my thoughts are on the way that other American Girl doll hair salons operate. So once again, this is just opinions. This is not anything meant to be me. If you are one of the employees at this American Girl store, please know that I mean no malintent. I just want to give you guys my opinions on the way that they probably trained you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here is just a little disclaimer in case Mattel finds this video and wants to look at me sideways. Just let that pass through and let's get started. So the first video we're going to be doing is by Chloe's American Girl doll channel. Chloe has so many American Girl doll salon videos that I just had to do an entire video dedicated to her going on trips to the American Girl doll hair salon and getting her doll's hair done. The full video link will be in my bio, but I am not going to show Chloe and I'm not going to show any minors in this video because YouTube kids, obviously you guys know, it's a new thing and I just don't want to get in trouble for having any kind of kids in my videos. And of course, hopefully in the future, I'm able to monetize my videos and I gear my videos towards adult collectors not children so I want to stay out of the YouTube kids world. So Chloe has brought her American Girl doll Tenny to the American Girl doll hair salon and here is the consultation. Is there any hairstyle that like you wouldn't recommend for like uh, So starting off, I wouldn't necessarily categorize Tenny as a curly haired doll. I would categorize her as a long wavy haired doll. So I wouldn't gear her towards the curly haired page because obviously there's different styles for it that kinky curly hair and Tenny is just not one of those dolls that has that kind of hair. Ugh, I was so dramatic with those capes. It was so much fun getting to put on those capes every single time I went in to style one of the doll's hair. Did you want to keep this in her hair or did you want to take it out? Uh, I don't really care. You never want to brush your hair without water because it gets tangled and fizzy. So this is just me and my experience with my American Girl dolls. If my doll has straight hair, I never use water. But if my doll has curly hair or wavy hair, I always use water. For me, straight hair, unless I'm going in with a style, I just never spray it with water. I feel like it really doesn't actually make the hair frizzy. You just need to make sure that you're taking care of your doll's hair and brushing it when necessary. But again, that's just me. My dolls have been pristine without having any water touch their hair if they have straight hair for the longest time and nothing's ever happened happened to them in regards to frizziness just make sure you brush it out always use a wire brush brush from the bottom just work your way up to the top no hairspray no fabric softener no flat irons or curling iron just water and a wire brush Okay, so I'm actually glad that she mentioned the fabric softener thing because as much as I love Sarah, I know that for sure that video has done a lot of detrimental damage to a lot of people's American Girl dolls. No matter how much you wash that downy or that fabric softener out of your doll's hair, you for sure did not get everything out. It coats the hair so much. It's such a thick consistency that no matter how much you strip and strip at your doll's hair, you literally have to go in with Dawn soap and strip your doll's hair dry to get that coating of 
a fabric softener off of her hair. So please make sure you do not actually use fabric softener. And trust me when I say, if you go to the American Girl doll hair salon with that downy dunked doll, they for sure will be able to tell. I will never forget, someone quite literally tried to tell me that they did not put fabric softener in their doll's hair. And then when my spray bottle went to go wet her doll's hair, there was a literal pool of blue downy underneath the chair. And I had to go into the back and like scrub at her scalp to try to get everything that I could out. That doesn't just go for fabric softeners, hairsprays, mousses, all of that. Since we touch brand new American Girl doll hair, we can tell when people put stuff in their American Girl doll's hair and it definitely has a specific feel to it. So I highly do not recommend it. The smoothing brush makes the hair nice and smooth, keeps the flyaways down. You can use a toothbrush that you don't use anymore and it works the same way. First off, I wouldn't recommend using an old toothbrush because no matter how much you clean it, there probably, if you put water to it, is still some toothpaste on it. And that's just really unsanitary, so I wouldn't recommend using an old one. I would just get a brand new one specifically for your American Girl dolls. But boy, do I have a bone to pick with this unbelievably ridiculous brush. First of all, they should not be recommending these to kids, let alone still be allowing workers and employees to be using this brush. That bristle brush is so unbelievably dangerous. It is like a million little needles within a little brush. And if you actually go and touch it, it hurts, which is why they don't recommend it to kids. But even for adults, I never used it when I was working at the store. Like she said, a toothbrush works exactly the same. So why they haven't provided these employees with a toothbrush over literally this like painful tool to use is beyond me. Also, this tool can quite literally rip out your doll's wefts in her wig if used too hard. So the fact that they're using it for smoothing and you're applying pressure, one of the little needles in this bristle could actually pull out some of the seams in your doll's wefts and make her wig start to unravel. So do not recommend this brush. I do not know why they still recommend this. I do not know why employees are still using this, whether or not they are or they aren't currently. Like, please do not buy this brush. Just get a toothbrush. For curls to come back, let me show you. You just take a piece, wet it with water your smoothing brush and then just brush it around your finger. Oh, you know what? I have kind of more. Take it out and her curls come right back. So whenever you're ready to curl her back, just brush it around your finger and curls will come back. So this technique really only works on dolls like Tenny with long hair. It doesn't really work on dolls like Gabriella or number 67 because they have really, 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 really tight curls. And that needs a little bit of a thinner kind of thing to wrap around like a pencil or a rat tail comb end. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that kind of curling technique for those dolls, but this is correct. And I just want to pinpoint that. And then on top of that, Tenny's curls after being in this this specific hairstyle that Chloe chose, the two braids. It's not a style that I would recommend for this doll specifically because I know she has that wavy, big, chunky curls to her. So I wouldn't recommend the braids because with the water and then the braids and then making it very tight, you're going to create a very heavy crimp in that doll's hair. So it's going to take a lot of willpower to get the curls to be back to the way that they were. And depending on how tight she makes them, they honestly may not come back. And so... This is a perfect example of a style that probably shouldn't have been chosen for this specific doll. I would have recommended a waterfall braid because that doesn't really leave a crimp in the doll's hair. Or I would have recommended a ponytail flip, you know, a zigzag pony, those hairstyles that really don't leave crimps in the doll's hair. More so stretch it out as opposed to creating a deep wave in the hair. This is also only just based around the fact that this doll is practically brand new. If this doll had come into the salon with extremely damaged hair, where I looked at her and saw that the curls weren't going to be coming back, then I would recommend the braids, and then I would recommend the sweetheart braid because the hair isn't going to curl back, and the integrity of the hair has already been lost, and that curl has already been lost. So this is just me speaking from a place of she has a brand new doll, basically. She just needed to have her doll's hair brushed, and the doll's hair is in practically brand new condition. It just needed to get a good spritzing and a brush through it. So you know how to braid? Uh, yeah.
Okay, so her technique here is actually immaculate and I don't see a lot of doll salon stylists do this technique anywhere outside of the New York store. She is what I like to call flat braiding, where instead of twisting the hair into the braid, you're actually laying it flat on top of one another. So it creates a flat clean braid and you're not twisting it into itself and that's particularly what I like to do when I braid in all of my styles it just looks a million times cleaner and it doesn't look so rigidy the way that twist braiding goes I know that sounds really complicated but it's actually just laying the hair flat on top of itself I also would have brushed the hair as I went down the braid I would have gone in and smoothed everything out the top of her braid there are some pieces sticking out that I know for sure the OCD and me would have wanted to go in and smooth out as I went, but she's doing a great job right now with this braid. Would you like her pigtails to come to the front or would you like them to stay in the back? So we can go for shopping. Like they can stay back this way or I can put them up front. Yeah. So as you guys can see, she did a fantastic job on the braid. It looks so clean, so nice. She did go in with the scissors and just cut all the little gross little trimmies at the end of her hair just to make everything nice and clean. And then she's just using a smoothing tool to smooth out the ends. Once again, not really a fan of this smoothing tool. A toothbrush would have been fine, but that's okay. She's still smoothing it out. And then on top of that, I would have preferred her to use two elastics at the end. So that way the hairstyle is really concrete in the hair and it's a little bit harder to take out because of course if you're asking someone to pay $20 for a hairstyle I want to make sure it's able to stay in for a long time and a little bit more concrete in the hair and not so easy to take out during play. So something that really got drilled into my brain during training was that anything past eight inches is a huge choking hazard to children, a choking hazard in regards to like children could wrap it around their necks, you know, and it's just not a pretty picture. So for me, I always keep my ribbons really, really small. Also, I just feel like it looks better and it's not so wasteful because it's not going to be too big on the doll. It's not going to look weird. It's not going to look unproportionate. So I like to keep the ribbons on the smaller side so that, that way they don't take away from the style. So here is what Tenny finally looks like. I'm very happy with this style. There are some hit and misses within the way that this was created, more so in the tools and just cleaning things up. But for the most part, I definitely give her an eight and a half out of 10. This is a really good job well done. For me personally, it was more so just ribbon size, smoothness, and of course, just tidying little minor things up. But for the most part, I think it's an amazing job well done. So I am very pleased with the way that this this hairstyle went and I definitely would have passed her in training. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can subscribe to this YouTube channel for more American Girl doll and other 18 inch doll videos. And on top of that, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what kind of other videos you want to see. Let me know what other video recommendations you have for reactions. Let me know what you guys think of these reaction videos. Let me know if you guys would love to see this monthly. Once a month, I would be more than happy to react to hairstyling videos. This was extremely fun, and I would be more than happy to make more of these if you guys want to see them. All right, you guys, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.